Chapter 7 Mother, mother, I'm so happy, cried the girl. And you must be happy too. Mrs. Vane put her thin white hands on her daughter's head. I'm only happy when I see you in the theater, she said. And we are poor. We need the money. Don't forget that. What do we know about this young man? You don't know his real name or anything about him. No, but I call him Prince Charming. He's everything to me. I love him and he loves me. Oh, mother, let me be happy. You're too young to think of love, said her mother. She looked at her daughter's lovely face and tried to warn her of the dangers of love, but the girl did not listen. She was locked in her prison of love. At that moment, the girl's brother entered the room. He was a heavy, dark young man, not at all like his sister. I've heard about a gentleman who visits you every night at the theater, he said to his sister. Who is he? What does he want? Oh, James, don't be angry with me today, cried Sybil. You're leaving for Australia tomorrow, and today is your last day. Come for a walk with me in the park. I'll go and get ready. She danced out of the room, and her mother and brother could hear her singing as she ran upstairs. James Vane turned to his mother. My new life as a sailor will keep me away from England for many years, he said but I don't like to leave Sybil alone. Sybil has me, her mother, you know, said Mrs. Vane quietly. Then take care of her. James Vane gave his mother a long, hard look. If that man hurts my sister, I'll find him and kill him like a dog.